What is going on guys, Bala24 bringing you episode 3 of kind of my history on YouTube and everything. And at the end of the last episode I had talked about I had just bought an Xbox um, towards the end of Modern Warfare 2 and I was getting ready for Black Ops, the first Black Ops. And when Black Ops came out on release day I went and I bought it for the PS3 and for the Xbox because um, basically on both consoles, or at least on PS3, I had um, like one of my really good friends that I would always play with, and then on Xbox I had my buddy um, Dead Getty Jetto, who is now you know Sugar Free Churro. Me and him would always play on Xbox together, and then I had a couple cousins that I would play with as well. And so um, basically in Black Ops I was split a lot between the two consoles. I had started watching a lot more, you know, gameplays. I started watching a lot more, um, you know, people just posting videos and stuff like that. I was in college and I just really got into it. I started watching videos on a daily basis. Like it became almost like an obsession where I would watch, you know, machinima stuff every day. I had the machinima app on my phone and I would watch her videos every day. Um, that kind of started in Modern Warfare 2, but it really picked up in Black Ops. And at this point, I still wasn't recording. I still wasn't, you know, I didn't have a PVR. I hadn't, you know, even thought about buying anything to be able to um, record gameplays. But um, just like on Modern Warfare 2, at least on PS3, I only played Team Deathmatch. And because of that, I had ungodly high KD, at least for me. I mean, I had, uh, like, two different accounts on PS3. On one of them, I had, like, a 2.8 KD. On the other one, I had, like, a 2.7. Um, the one I had a 2.7, I was sniping. It was just, I mean, it was just absolutely ridiculous, to be honest, because it was, again, Team Deathmatch, and it was PS3. Um, but then on Xbox, I played a little bit more of a variety of game modes. I played Domination, I played Search, I played still Team Deathmatch, but I played other game modes just to kind of mix things up. Um, because the friends that I played with on Xbox were more comfortable trying new game modes. And um, after, you know, fairly quickly into Black Ops, I don't remember the exact time frame, I decided that I wanted to actually start making videos. I wanted to start, you know, recording gameplays and doing commentaries just like the videos that I had watched. And um, I'll be perfectly honest, my early videos were god-awful. They were absolutely horrible. Um, but uh, uh, in Black Ops, like I said, I started to record and I started to post some videos on YouTube and back then like, you know, I was just getting my channel started. I was spending a lot of time, um, you know, away from, you know, not really focusing on school, not really doing anything like that because I was spending a lot of time uh, making videos, editing them, doing commentaries, practicing my commentaries, doing multiple takes of them, making sure that I put out what I thought at the time were good quality videos, which by comparison now I can do a video in one take that is significantly higher quality than the videos I did back then. But um, when all of that was going on, uh, it was kind of like the, the height of different community channels. And I remember the very first community channel I got on was Frontline Commentaries. And I got a good number of subscribers. I got, you know, like 50 or something subscribers from posting on there. And I met, um, you know, a gr cool group of people. I met um, a lot of snipers, actually, through there. I met um, one was Ravenous Kells and another was Demon. And back then, they were both, you know, really big on sniping, and they kind of pushed me and motivated me to snipe in Black Ops more, and this was when Black Ops wasn't that good. And so that was what led to me creating more of a sniping focus for my channel. I'll get into more detail in the next video.